going to start off with the foam roller in the upper back. Maybe just some nice easy strokes to get started. And then right where your heart rate monitor would go, you're going to really try and keep the front side connected so not arching into your low back, losing that Coke can connection. Just trying to move through that upper spine. Three to five reps. I'm going to reach my arms up overhead. I move that foam roller up and I'm going to hit about three to five different spots on that upper spine. Trying to minimize movement through my low back. From there, I'm going to focus on the outside top and inside of my quads. So really trying to prevent any of that quad tendonitis that might pop up. We're going to bend that bottom knee 10 to 15 times. I'm going to roll to the front of that quad 10 to 15 times. And then the last one, I'm going to get more of the inside of that quad, but close to where the knee attaches, 10 to 15 reps. Obviously, foam roll, anything else that you might need. From there, we're going to get into bent knee hamstring. I'm going to point my toe and then try and balance a glass of water on the heel. Really want to feel this through the back of the hamstring and calf. We can add in some ankle pumps up there. About 15, 20 reps. Get a bunch here, especially if you're sitting all day. These things are going to be in a short position seated. We want to really work on lengthening each side. From there, we're going to focus on the spine and shoulders. Both hands together, they come up. Big breath in as you come up and as you breathe out. Drop that shoulder blade to the ground. Breathe in. Breathe out. Shoulder blade to the ground. After you get about three to five, you're going to do a big arm sweep, opening up that pec and shoulder. Three to five reps here as well. You'll switch sides. Make sure those knees stay above 90 degrees really locking in that lumbar so all the movement can happen that upper thoracic spine and then sweep that arm up overhead thumb down palm down to the ground just working a big range of motion getting into internal rotation of that shoulder from there I'm going to continue focused on my spine I'm going to initiate with my tailbone or my center of mass I'm going to start by arching one vertebrae at a time and then I initiate with that tailbone tucking, rounding, one vertebrae at a time. First thing to move is my tailbone. Last thing to move is my head. Three to five reps. From there, I'm gonna get into some active mobility, or activation here. So I'm gonna start by trying to peel my spine up off the ground, one vertebrae at a time. At the top position, I'm driving my heels into the ground, feeling my glutes and making sure I'm not arched through that, that low back. I then place one vertebrae back down at a time. So I want to imagine like my spine has Velcro, I'm initiating through that tailbone, tucking the tail, holding the hardest position, and then slowly lowering one vertebrae at a time back down, and then peeling that Velcro up off the ground. From there, I'm going to go into a single leg glute bridge holding that top position looking at about looking to do about 10 to 12 of these glute bridge variations once again we're just really reversing sitting and trying to open up those hips actively for stretching right we sit on these glutes all day this also starts to open up us into that hip separation sprinting position and even just gait walking position from there I'm gonna go into a half Turkish get up and start to integrate my upper body. So my hand's not too far behind, it's more out to the side. Whatever arm is up, so right uh, leg is up, right arm is up. Whatever leg is long, left leg is long, left arm is long. I'm gonna drive to that heel, open up and hold. Coming back down. Check that posture, make sure you're not too arched. Abs are maybe slightly engaged. Back down. If you wanna add a kettlebell for even more activation, you can certainly go for that, okay? Same thing, we're looking for anywhere from about six to 10 reps each side. Right leg is long, right arm is long. Coming up. Okay, let's continue to get some activation here. We're gonna be on all fours, either on the elbows 
for the hands, shoulder taps, nice and slow and controlled. There's a glass of hot tea on your low back, you wouldn't want to spill that tea. So you're going to get four shoulder taps. You're going to open up, looking for a straight line from this top arm all the way down to that bottom wrist. If you want to increase difficulty, you could lift that top leg up. If you want to get into that groin and adductor, lift the inside leg up. You'll switch sides. Starting point is here. Increase difficulty, a little bit more glutes here, a little bit more adductors here. We're going to go back into that push-up position, but get into a downward dog, a little bit of a calf stretch. Try and get the ears next to the biceps. And then we're going to repeat. So shoulder taps, focus on trunk stability four times. Open up. Position one. Notice I'm just on the inside, outside edge of my feet. Position two, if I want to increase difficulty. Position three, if I want to get into those adductors. Switch sides. Open up. And then finish opening up those shoulders, ankles, and hamstrings. That's our soft tissue mobility and activation on the ground. Let's go ahead and get upright and just get the body warmed up. We're gonna start.